Hello, my name is Matthew Gonzalez. I am a Gear Up Tutor at Eastwood Middle School. And today we are going to be talking about diffusion and osmosis. First thing we want to know is, what is diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. If you want a, a visual, let's look to our right and you can see the diagram. As you can see the area on the left, let's look at that first square. The area on the left of the line is an area of high concentration. And then as you can see as time goes by, the area with high concentration eventually moves to the area of low concentration. And diffusion happens in liquids and gases because their particles move randomly from place to place. Diffusion is an important process for living things. It is how substances move in and out of cells. If you want a real life example to better understand the concept, let's look at this real life example. You walk into a coffee shop and immediately smell coffee. Why? One reason is convection. The moving currents of air carry coffee, the coffee smell particles all, all around the coffee shop. But even without convection, the smell would still reach you eventually. Not by convection, but by diffusion. In diffusion, coffee particles move from the coffee machine, an area of high concentration, to the area of the coffee shop, an area of low concentration. So if you look at the image to our right, you get another visual example. If you see the, the substance on top is an area of high concentration, as time goes by, it eventually mixes and gets into an area of low concentration. Next, we will talk about what is osmosis. So osmosis is a type of diffusion. It represents the movement of water across a partially permeable membrane from an area of high water concentration to an area of low water concentration. And let's look to our right at the diagram. Like we said, it is um, in osmosis, water always moves from an area of higher water concentration to one of lower concentration. In the diagram shown, the, sol the solute cannot pass through the selectively permeable membrane, but the water can. So you can see in the jar on the right, the, um, the water moved to that right side of the semi-permeable membrane. And while diffusion transports materials across membranes and within cells, osmosis transports only water across a membrane. So, in conclusion, to wrap up what osmosis and diffusion is, to incorporate the movement of mole molecules in and out of the cell, two types of transport systems exist, osmosis and diffusion. These two type systems are passive transport systems. The primary differentiating factor between the two systems is the medium on which they are employed. Osmosis can only function in a liquid medium, but diffusion can occur in all three mediums, being solid, liquid, and gas mediums. Osmosis requires a semi-permeable membrane while diffusion does not. And if you look to our image to the right, you get a visual of the difference between osmosis and diffusion and how osmosis has the semi-permeable membrane with its high concentration to low concentration. And then you have diffusion with how the difference is between a high concentration to a low concentration. With that being said, if you have any more questions, go on to tutor.com. It is requiring your student ID as your username, and you slid a GU as your password. As you can see here, this is what the screen should look like when you log in. So if you have any more questions, tutor.com. And thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.